So in case you didn't know, I love roller skating. I've brought you guys with me through the best and the worst of my roller skating journey, and it's been a wild ride. I honestly think it's the thing that gives me the most excitement because at any moment it could all go tits up. In summary, it's one of my favorite things to do with my time. But ever since I made my first roller skating video, I've been ignoring one thing. I know I've been ignoring what everyone has been saying. Um, and for good reason. I already know that I'm gonna fall and eat shit, so look forward to that. God, I'm good at predicting the future. Anyway, I know I sound scared at the moment, and you would be right. But at one point, I also thought that roller skating and skateboarding were the scariest things I could do. I'm so nervous that my voice is cracking and I'm a 12-year-old boy, apparently. This is probably the thing that scares me the most, is learning to roller skate. Yeah, that was a lie. These are way scarier. <laughs> okay, so if you guys have seen any of my videos, you know that I love wheels. The more the better, honestly. I started off with learning how to roller skate and then I moved on to skateboarding. And now I'm gonna try something that I've never tried before, which is rollerblading. There's something about rollerblading that is just like 10 times more badass than roller skating. So I've always wanted to try it, but I've always been too scared because if you look at this, like how unstable does that look? That literally looks like I would fall over and die. I literally don't know how I'm gonna stand up on like this amount of space. Like that's two millimeters. How is that even possible? But today I was feeling like a brave boy. So I found a nice spot to rest my cheeks and got to work putting on my skates, which was much harder than I expected. Seriously, it was like trying to solve a Rubik's cube, but they don't send me to the big school for nothing. And eventually I did figure it out. I think I'm gonna try out some tricks as well. I'm gonna be doing some manuals, maybe even trying out some spins. I don't know if transitions are a thing like with rollerblades, but I know they are with roller skates. I'm spending a lot of time rambling right now because I'm actually fucking terrified to try these on because I'm gonna fall on my ass. I just know it. So make sure you wear your protection as I always do. But without further ado, this is me trying rollerblading for the first time. So let's get into it. I also want to give a quick thank you to Flying Eagle Skates for giving me these skates. Um, they're absolutely gorgeous. The build is beautiful. They're really, really solid and I love them. So thank you to them. And if you guys want a link to them, it will be in the description. So make sure to check those out. Okay, so first impressions is that these are so much tighter than roller skates. So if you want to feel like your feet are being birthed again, then definitely go for roller blades rather than roller skates. So it feels so weird. Oh my God. Okay, so first impressions. The woman was too stunned to speak. My first challenge was to move the camera without rolling away with it because I don't think insurance covers that one, Bestie. Seriously, looking back at this footage still confuses me. Like it looks like I'm defying gravity. How am I balancing like that? Then it was time to get used to the motion of the ocean. At this point, I was hoping and praying that there was at least some transferable skills. Lord, please let me have one W for once in my life. Nope, that is not what I meant. Oh my God. Okay, I just realized halfway through skating that I completely forgot to put on any protective equipment. So I'm gonna go do that first because I'm gonna fall over, as you can see from that video. Yeah, so much for wearing protection every time, you liar. Seriously, you have no idea how much my half-priced child's hand guards from Amazon have saved my life. For sure the best 22 pounds that I have ever spent. So time to get back into it. I'm starting strong with some bubbles to get me used to the blades. My approach is basically starting the same as I did with roller skates. Easy peasy. So once I had the hang of those, it was time to do some gentle turns, which I'm doing by taking the front part of one foot off the floor. And that foot is always the foot that's in the direction that I want to turn, if that makes sense. So one way that I made turns easier was to practice putting one foot in front of the other slightly. It just helps, trust me. Okay, so at the moment I'm gonna try focus on doing some transitions. So like the open book transition, which is where you have your legs going in either direction. So this is kind of what open book transitions look like when you're roller skating. Pretty poggers if you ask me. So if you guys don't know what transitions are, they're basically a way to move from going forwards to going backwards. But first you actually have to go backwards, um, which is what I'm gonna do at the moment. So number four is backwards rollerblading. So just like going forwards, I kind of had to relearn this. So step one was to do backwards bubbles. And then I moved on to doing little backwards circles. This just helped me to get the movement down while staying on the spot. So I decided to work up to doing side to side movements, so kind of going in a zigzag, and that really helps you get momentum going backwards. 
Once I'd got that down, it was time for transitions! Starting with the open book transition, or the spread eagle, only very slowly, apparently. <laughs> So this is where you have one leg facing in opposite directions, kind of like you're opening a book and your feet are the pages. <laughs> then you can swoop round and start skating backwards. Yeah, as you see, I was very wobbly and I wasn't really able to open up my legs all the way. Okay, it's definitely much harder to do transitions on rollerblades than it is on roller skates. Maybe it's just because I've got used to them, um, but Oh my god. Like, usually I have no problem turning my feet in either direction, but with rollerblades, they seem to keep getting stuck, which is, like, really annoying. I know I'm saying this from the perspective of someone who's a roller skater. Clarification alert, all of these things that I'm saying are from the point of view of a roller skater. No shade to rollerblades, this is just the changes that I've noticed. Then I moved on to something a little more chill for a while, which was one-legged skating. Again, I'm not used to how heavy these are. So I wasn't really happy with how smoothly things were going at that point. So I thought, you know what? It's time to bring something out of the bag that I definitely know how to do. Something simple, something fun, which is manuals. Only they weren't the easy win that I thought they'd be. In fact, I could barely get one set of wheels off the ground. And for those of you who don't know, they're supposed to look something like this. But I think I forgot that there's only one wheel at the front and back for me to balance on. Dude. I've been really struggling with manuals. Oh my god, I thought that that would be the only thing that I could do on roller skates. But it turns out I literally can't do them at all. So usually when I'm roller skating, like, that's something that I do just for fun, just for practice. If anyone's got any tips on how to do that, maybe it's just practice, but I'm really, really struggling with that at the minute. But I didn't give up. I decided to practice the position whilst I was standing still, and that actually helped a lot to get my balance in check. Then I managed to get a two second manual, woo, let's go. Then after that, yeah, I did give up. <laughs> but on a better note, transitions are actually a lot easier on rollerblades, I found. So transitions took me quite a while to learn on roller skates, not gonna lie. But with these rollerblades, they've been like almost instant. Maybe it's just because I've already learned them and it's very similar, like transferable skills and that. They taught me about that in primary school. Um, so when I say transitions, I obviously don't mean the spread eagle transition. No, no, no. I am talking about the switch transition, which is basically where you switch direction. Easy, right? Ha! Ha ha. So first I tried going forwards to backwards, which requires you to put your weight on your front wheels. All of your weight. On two wheels. At the front. How do you do that? I kept pussing out halfway, so instead I decided to try the other option, which is going from backwards to forwards, where you put your weight on your back wheels and lift your front wheels up, which I found a lot easier. That gave me the confidence to try forwards to backwards again, and I actually did it! So I decided to take it up a notch. But I'm feeling very brave at the minute, so I'm gonna try jumps. Probably gonna be a bad idea, probably gonna fall on my ass, but... That's okay, as long as we're wearing hand pads. As I psyched myself up, I remembered the three things, which is stagger one foot in front of the other, make sure your knees are over your toes, and tuck your legs up as far as possible. Yay! And hey presto, I did it! Oh my god, I didn't die, I didn't die. <laughs> I shouldn't be surprised that I'm alive after every single trick, but always be grateful, I guess. Um, <laughs> I kept trying and trying because I thought it'd be funny to see myself fall over and eat shit, but I was just too good, apparently. Damn, didn't fall over once doing this. So I decided to take it up to the final stage, which was spins. My spins are shoddy at best, even on roller skates, but these, man, they were summer else. I was trying to keep one foot still and the other one in motion, but as you can see, it was not looking good. Anyway, I was about to get another parking ticket, so it was time for me to skedaddle. I'm parked somewhere where I have 45 minutes until I need to move the car, and I don't want my third parking ticket, so I'm gonna have to hurry up with this. <laughs> this is live footage of me realising that my car was in danger. But can I just say again that these skates are like possibly the best skates that I could have bought. Um, they're so sturdy. I don't feel like my ankles are going to break, which I was actually very, very scared about because the amount of surface area that I'm balancing on right now is like next to nothing. Um, <laughs> so if you guys enjoyed the video, then let me know and I can do any other thing that you request um, with wheels. I'm thinking maybe like an electric skateboard or something, although that does sound fucking terrifying. But everything sounds scary until I actually do it so i guess you win some you lose some anyway i hope you enjoyed the video make sure you like it um subscribe for more and i will see you in the next video adios